welcome again in audio also slp forum so today we discuss about an interesting topic auditory verbal therapy so watch the video till in and learn this process and if you not subscribe us please subscribe our channel so let's start auditory verbal therapy auditory verbal therapy is a specialized type of therapy designed to teach a child to use the hearing provided by hearing aid or a cochlear implant for understanding speech and learning to talk Auditory verbal practice supports the right of the children with all degrees of hearing impaired to develop the ability to listen and communicate using spoken language. Principles of auditory verbal practice. So first is to detect the hearing impairment as early as possible through screening programs. Early in newborn nursery throughout childhood. Second is to help children integrate listening into their development of communication and social skills. third is to use developmental patterns of listening language and speech and cognition to stimulate natural communication and fourth is to support children's auditory verbal development through one to one teaching so next is the auditory verbal therapist the auditory verbal therapist is a qualified educator of the hearing impaired an audiologist and or a speech and language pathologist next is the listening environment so first is parents and or therapist sitting beside the child on the side of the better ear and second point is is speaking close to the client's hearing aid and or cochlear implant microphone and third point is is speaking at a regular volume fourth point is minimize the background noise and fifth point is using speech that is repetitive and rich in melody expression and rhythm next is therapy process avt sessions or auditory verbal therapy sessions may be held in hospitals a private practice or a school to make the therapy environments home like objects and toys found in the child's home as well miniature wear versions of real objects are used to stimulate spoken conversation through listening as a team of avt therapist and the parents establish the target to be achieved at home targets for the younger children may include drawing attention to sounds in the environments learning that sounds have meaning babbling learning early vocabulary developing phrases or beginning small conversations so next point is parent participation so oh. in auditory verbal sessions therefore parents observe and actively participate in learning to first is model technique for stimulating speech language and communication activities at home Second is plan strategies to integrate listening, speech, language and communication into daily routine and experiences. Next is communicate as partners in the therapeutic process. Next is inform the therapists the child's interest and abilities. Interpret the meaning of the child's early communication. develop appropriate behavior management techniques records and discuss progresses interpret short term and long term goals so the next point is auditory verbal therapy techniques so there are some techniques first is providing acoustic highlighting such as whispering singing and emphasizing elements of syntax and or segmental or supra segmental information second is asking the child what did you hear as precaution to repeating spoken stimuli and next is encouraging the coaching the parent as a primary model for listening and talking next is moving closer to the microphone of the child's hearing aid or cochlear implant next is rewarding providing alternatives repeating previously heard information next is waiting and or pausing for responses and next is using a hand clue So the next point is variable affecting the progresses. First is each family and each child are unique and hence the communication development may vary from child to child and depend on a number of variables. Age of diagnosis, cause of hearing impairment, degree of hearing impairment, effectiveness of the amplification devices or cochlear implant, hearing potential of the child, health of the mind, emotional state of the family. level of family participations skills of the therapists skills of the parents or caregiver child's learning style and also child intelligence 
so i hope you like this video and uh, you satisfied with this video if there are any issue so write in comment box and like our video so thank you thank you for watching video